Mrs. Nevin, welcome. Hello, Mr. Barack. Hello. To tell you the truth, I didn't expect you this soon. There was no need to wait. Nogme is out of work for a while, so she's eager to work. This is my daughter, Nogme. Hi, Nagme. I feel like I know you, though we've not met. Your mom has told me so much about you. My mom likes to exaggerate. She exaggerates. Looking at your education and all your achievements, I disagree. Thank you so much. Let's say I like playing the piano. I met Barack a few days ago at the hotel. When I found out what he was doing, I told him about you. He was so excited. We're looking for skilled and experienced people like you very much for our school. When your mother said you were seeking a job, I did get really excited. I'm ready to do anything to have you join us here. Safika, my brother. Yes, he is here. Yeah, he stayed here last night. Okay. <clears throat> you okay, brother? What, are you here to check on me? Shouldn't we be worried about you? So is that a crime now? Huh? So, are you okay? Do you feel all right now? How do you think I am? The company has been totally ruined. Brother, please don't be too hard on yourself now. Once you and I and Edge Dare unite, we can get over this. Get over this? <laughs> yeah, one would think that you know something about all of this. You're following me around everywhere all of the time, don't you? Brother, you're the one who's leaving me out. Am I the one to blame for that? Am I the one to blame? Read this. Here, go ahead and read it if you can. Go on, read it, here! You never could do anything at all without me. Brother, you're being rude. <sighs> Look here, dummy. You should pray that I have brought the company to get us even this far, huh? Esther was born yesterday. And mother takes him for a man. And she always talks to him. I told them how to do it, but no one listens to me at all. They think he's a man. <laughs> and they stupidly listen to what he says. So weird. It's like I haven't played in years. When she was in Istanbul, she was more disciplined. She would practice at least 45 hours a week. Then when she came out here, you know. Honey, where are you? I'm at a job interview. What job? I told you in the morning, teaching music. <sighs> oh, I see. You're not wasting any time. Well, my mother found this, and she's here with me now. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll send Ali to get you. There's no need. My mom can give me a ride. Is your mother angry? <sighs> She'll be fine in time. Just like me. All right, Princess. Don't be late tonight. I want to see you when I'm home, okay? All right. See you soon. See you soon. So, did you make a decision? A decision? Tell me, would you like to work with us? Listen, Miss Nagme, uh, we mostly have teenagers and children in our school. I mean, I don't think it'll be hard on you. And besides, if you agree to work with us, it's going to make me very happy. Of course she wants to help you. My daughter knows what she loves the most. You'll accept it, won't you? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I knew you would love this opportunity. <laughs> Thank you.
You asked for me, Mrs. Barricade? I can see that you don't understand certain things. You need to get this through your thick skull. You can't take a breath if I don't want you to. Is that so? What if I go and tell everything to Mr. Edge there? <laughs> go ahead. Go tell him. If you really wanted the truth to come out, and if you were even a decent man, you would have done this 50 times already. But you only have one goal, and that is quite clear to me. You're only after the money. And if you put me in a situation again like yesterday, you will be crossing the line. Are you hearing me? Hmm? So, go on, tell me. What kind of a school is this? A music school. Solfege, guitar, piano, others too. I'll teach music to the kids. Hmm. You don't look very happy. No. But, don't you think it's fast? Thanks to my mom, she arranged it. Okay. Then we'll go there tomorrow. Then I can see where you will work. Okay. How was your day today? Good. I got all the workers paid. Then I met with Uncle Kamal. He was my father's best friend. We've made plans to continue the workshop. Oh, that is great. What's left is to convince my mother and my brothers. But Uncle Kamal gave me hope. He's assuring me this is the right path. Things are going to get better. Don't you worry. Uncle Kamal's support is important to me. It empowers me. And he said he'll always help me out. After we separated, I did some research. There are very cheap second-hand machines, and the quality is still good. Really? <sighs> Even thinking about it excites me. Oh, Sofika. Have a seat. Did you talk to your uncle? Yes, I spoke to him. And he said, did he agree? No. He's just digging his heels in. I tried to use my aunt to help, and still no. All because of Ejder. Uncle got really angry when Ejder refused his daughter. So he still resents us. And then my aunt told me, she says that we wasted his time, and that we manipulated him. Hmm, so you see, half the guilt belongs to Simal, and the other half is Ejder's. Oh, Ejder, if he had married my uncle's daughter instead of that city girl, none of this would have happened to us at all. Well, you made that deal, and you made it without my knowledge. And now I'm the guilty one? doing out in the cold? You're gonna catch a cold. You come here. Oh, you're sweaty too. Are you cold? No, I'm not. Oh my goodness, thank God. Daddy, 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 daddy! <laughs> oh, you're my boy, you're my boy, you're my boy, you're my boy. <laughs> you are getting very big and heavy. Daddy, do you know what I saw on TV today? What did you see, my boy? You know all the toys that you bought me last year? Ah, all the soldiers. Well, there's a new set out now. Do you think that we could get the new set? Hmm, just ask for it, my boy, and we'll get it right away. Huh? Oh, my dear <laughs> daddy. Hop, 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 hop. Here we go. <laughs> and you expect me to forgive you? Mm. 
Since Cadet Soilu is not changing his mind, we have to make a decision. Hop, 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 hop. We should get the workshop going and not waste any time. <clears throat> Tahir, go and be with your sister. Listen up, Ashtar. Stop confusing my mom's mind with those stupid ideas of yours. I said it yesterday, and I'll say it now. We should sell everything we owe, and then we will pay all of our debts. I don't intend to sell the things that we have left. Besides, what will we have left then? We need to try something new. Alice, why don't you give him your opinion? Come on. You can all just save your breath. We're going to do as Ezdair says. Your late father would want this too. But wait, my I don't want to hear another word, Samal. I have made up my mind. Now go and leave me alone. Just get out of the room. Mother? Mother, what about me? Huh? What about me? Is this what I get after all of my hard work? Are you telling me to work under Ejder now? Are you going to make me his assistant or something? Is that what you want, huh? Is that it? He is my son as well. I've given you so many chances, haven't I? Tell me if I'm lying, Samal. And you have ruined everything. Look, he won't be able to do it. He will never succeed. I am telling you. You will say that Samal said so. Listen here. You can fool my mother, but you cannot fool me. You've ruined our lives since you came here. I am not fooling anyone. Who do you think you are to be here, huh? Who are you thinking? And you're talking through your teeth, whereas you should be apologizing to me right now. Brother, I don't want to be rude to you. Let go of me. Listen here. Listen here! Get out of my way, or I am going to crush you like a little bug. Come on, honey. Have some of this. Mother, Dad told me that he'd buy the toys I want. He promised. When the money comes, we can go tomorrow. Okay, Mother? What toys are you talking about? Just go away. Come over here. Didn't I tell you to stay with my mother? Haven't I told you not to let Ejder confuse my mother's mind with all of his stupid ideas? Ah. Now I'm responsible for everything, huh? Today I went to my uncle and I tried to save us. I talked to him and begged him for hours. And so what did all that get us, huh? Nothing! Am I responsible for the company? Everybody here is trying to clean up your mess. Ah, oh, damn all of you. Damn you and your uncle. Oh, uh damn you! <sighs> damn it, why don't you go away? This isn't my fault. Damn every one of you! Why don't you all go away? Sister, are you okay? Mm. 
Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, princess. You're up early. There are things about the workshop that I need to take care of. But you were going to the school with me. Well, I can't postpone this. I promise later. Okay, as you wish. <laughs> so want me to make you breakfast? Don't bother. Uh, I just mean you should just relax. Get some sleep. I can make myself something. Whatever you want. <laughs> I'll see you later. See you later. <sighs> You think you can run away from me, huh? Please let go of me, please. I won't tell anyone. Come I here. swear, please just let me go. Come on. Please. Come on. Come here. No, you. Please. You stay. Stay. Don't you ever try to run away from me again, or you will face the consequences. Let go. Let go of me. Daphne, wake up. Wake up, my sweetest girl. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Is anybody going to be happy in this house? Oh, my dear. Everyone is each other's disaster here. But we're all living under the same roof. And there is never complaining. Oh, honey. Honey. Where are you going, Nagme? It's early. I need to do something. Is that so? What is that something? If you need to go out, I'll tell Ali to take you. There's no need. I'll go by myself. Have a good day. This girl from Istanbul is up to something. But we will see. Elvan. Come over here. Yes, Sister Safika. Do you want to be of use? Nagme has just left. You need to follow her. Find out where she went this early. Come on. I'm sure you don't have any money or a phone, right? No, I don't. You wait here. I'll be right back. Now that we've learned all that, I guess you won't have any questions about uh, the difference between when a note is flat or it's sharp. But if you have any questions, you can ask them. Okay, guys, let's take 10 minutes. Hi, welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I just heard about the accident. I'm so sorry. Otherwise, I really would love to be at your concert. Thank you for that. Would you like to sit down? Well, yeah, of course.
Hello? Sister Safika? Nagmi is with a man now. What? They moved out of you. They're meeting privately. Yes, yes. How immoral. Oh, I knew that this would happen. You tell me where they are. Okay. And you will stay there and report back everything. Sefika, what happened? I'm really curious now. Oh, that stupid Ejdare. Oh, that stupid Ejdare. Listen up, guys. This is the most important place. We'll put all the olive machines here. So that's why this door needs to be so big. Because when the trucks come in... Uh... Excuse me. It has to be enough space. Hello, Mother? My son, where are you now? The workshop. And where is she? Isn't she home? No. Well, I just heard something. I wanted to ask you if it's true or not. I'm wondering what's going on. What? What's going on, Mom? What are you saying? Well, when they saw her, she was with a man. Who saw her? And where? Uh, I'm just telling you they saw her. There's a man with her. Okay, Mother, calm down. I will see you soon. No. Uncle Kamal, I need to leave right away. What's wrong? Was everything okay? Nothing important. You go ahead. I'll be back. Do you think we did right by calling Ejdare? I hope he doesn't do anything bad now. Don't be so unstable, Zafika. You told us about it. Yet now you are panicking. Just wait. Now let him see what that city girl is made of. Hmm. You just keep an eye out, okay? Mr. Samal. Hey, what's going on, boy? Come on. Mr. Samal. What's going on? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I'll just wait. I know them. I know them. Just stay calm. We're here to talk politely. We've heard that you're going bankrupt. We're here to find out the truth. Is it true? So who is making up this stuff? Uh, who is making it up? But I mean, the company is not going bankrupt. Don't you see the sign is still up there? Maybe your enemies are making it up. You can't stop people from talking. <laughs> you know, Shavat is an angry guy, and he's also curious. He said to ask around. And you can't collect money from trees. You need to look after your debt, and you should be prudent. <clears throat> All right. You send my regards to Savat, will you? Tell him I will pay my debt soon. Well, all right then. Let's not keep you any longer. You both have a good day. Come on, come on. I'll see you next week, same time, okay? Okay, and thank you, teacher. Okay, goodbye. If you're not too tired, can I ask you something, ma'am? Why don't you quit calling me ma'am? We're working together now. All right, then. Not me. <laughs> There's this work of Schubert's, Opus 103 D940. Do you know it? Oh, the four-handed Fantasia? So you're really familiar with it, ma'am. Um, Nagme, do you really know it well? I studied it at the conservatory. That was a long time ago, but... <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking all over for a partner to play with me for a long time. And I figured since you're here, shall we give it a try? I guess, of course. You have the score? Yes, of course.
I will start it off then. Nagme! Magister? What are you doing here? I started working here today, but I told you all that. Come on, we're leaving. Edgter, please listen to me. I started working here. I said that we are leaving. Have you gone crazy? Calm yourself. Mr. Edgter, I guess there seems to be a misunderstanding. Can we just sit down and talk this through? You will stay out of this. Borak, I apologize for this. I don't know what to tell you. You will stay away from her now. You will stay away from my wife. Come on. Hedgester. Hedgester, what do you think you are doing? You disgrace me in front of him. You get in the car. What is this, Edgder? So you're teaching children, huh? Yes, I am. You were sitting next to him, almost playing the piano hand in hand. Mr. Burrock, he's my boss and the owner of the school. Why do I even bother, huh? This is my job, Edgder, playing the piano, and I'm working there. You, you're my wife, Nagme. You can't play the piano with a man hand in hand next to him. But I am a pianist. You can't deprive me of all the things that I love. You chose a woman like me to be your wife, a woman who, who is in love with music, okay? It's how I am, and you cannot try to change me. Yes, and you can't try to change me either. I am a man who is overprotective of his wife. And you know what? That is not the problem. The problem is that you don't want me to work, right? It's not that you're working. It's him. This is a bunch of nonsense. Just pull the car over. I said stop the car. Nagme, what is this? I said stop. Nagme. Nagme! Stop it! Nagme, don't you get out! Nagme! Brother, who are they? What are you doing with those gangster-looking guys? Aren't you gonna tell me? <laughs> Look, listen, Alice. Why should I tell you anything at all? You have been coming to the company and walk around doing absolutely nothing whatsoever. You don't know a single thing about keeping books in any way, so don't you try and talk business with me. Another thing, don't you tell anyone what you saw. I mean that. You want to sell everything not because you want to save the company, but you want to pay your debt to the loan shark. Yeah. Oh. Oh, brother. Oh. When Mom sided with Edgder, I was angry with her, you know? But now I'm glad that she has sided with him because... Well, because, brother... Alice! Don't say anything, brother. Don't you say anything. This is him. This is the man that you have defied me for. And don't you start talking about love and stuff. Do not. You're right. Of course I am. But what good is it? You don't ever want to see the truth. I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. Anyway, you're not going to leave the house over an argument. 
Go and talk to your husband nicely before it's too late to fix. Let me get some rest. I need to calm down a little bit, Mom. <sighs> Look, stand up. Say you'll work and he can't tell you not to. I didn't give birth to you so that you'd suffer from the hands of your own mother-in-law. At least do this for your mother. <sighs> Come on, honey. Don't be so worried. Have a good night. Have a good night. Mrs. Nogme. Mr. Ali, why are you here? Is there anything wrong? Mr. Ejder sent me here. He wants me to take you to him. He couldn't come and apologize, I guess? Ed sure doesn't change his tune. He doesn't apologize. Even when he's wrong, he calls me into his presence. But you can go tell him that if he wants to talk to me, he should come here. But I don't intend to go to him. Mrs. Nogme, I can't leave here empty-handed. I, I, I... I have to take you to Mr. Esdair now. Mr. Esdair told me there's no other way. What do you mean, no other way? What does that mean? Do I have to come then? He said to use force if I need to. You tell him that I resisted. Mrs. Nogme, you'll go back home anyway. Let me take you now and say all the things you said to Mr. Esdair back at home. All right. We can go then, and see what he says. Okay, please. The car is outside. Please. Life has gotten so strange. If you are powerful, people will bow before you. But if you fall at least one time, they will laugh at you right in your face. People try to step on you like you are a doormat. If you want to be a man, you have to be strong. And you need to be the most powerful. What are you doing here, in the middle of the night? Well, we spend our days working out in the fields. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in your glass house? <laughs> the glass house has crashed and has broken into pieces. <laughs> You're overestimating us, aren't you? What are they doing there? One of the workers has a wedding. They celebrate before the ceremony. Come on over a minute, will you? Come, come. Come, I won't bite. Come here. You are something. You are brave and you are courageous. But your useless brother? He is just a jerk, a good for nothing. He is a big waste. I know I should have done more to him. That's right. You should have done more. Nasir deserved to be beaten severely. So why did you throw yourself in front of him then and cried, don't kill him, kill me? Whatever happens, he's still my brother. You never can choose your family. Sister, where are you? Hey, I say. I need to go now. So your name is I say, is that right? It is. Why did we come here? Aren't we supposed to go home? Oh, I see now. Edster doesn't want the others to find out about my work, 
And now we can't even argue at home. Where is he? Be patient, Mrs. Nongme. Will you be able to forgive me, Princess? You have the right to be angry with me. I had no manners, and I admit it. No manners. Okay. I was a big jerk. I was really a big jerk. That's better. You are rude and stubborn and judging without even listening, okay? Angry. I mean, you're a really a mountain man. Where is that kind man that I met? It's because of you. It's because of me? Mm-hmm. You swept me off my feet. You make me make mistakes. <laughs> what can I do? But I am sorry. I can't deprive you of your desires. Or deprive you of playing the piano. I have no right. You don't have the right to deprive me of you with these silly arguments, you know? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Akşam olur karanlığa kalırsın Derin derin sevdalara dalarsın Oy gelin gelin Sevdalı gelin Öldürdün Good morning. Good morning. So when do you have to leave? I need to get ready and leave now. Tell Ali when you want him to get you. You enjoy yourself. Where are you going? To the company? We ordered yesterday. The machines will be delivered. I need to rebuild the workshop. Hey, wait for me. I'll come with you. I do not want to miss it. All right. I'll change my clothes. Sukran, go and get Daphne. I think that's enough of all of this. She will have breakfast with us today. Come on, stop staring.
What is this? Even the maids in the house now. They don't take me seriously and pour me tea. Well, of course not, Mr. Simon. When Miss Sofika spoke, that poor woman was confused. I'll pour you some. Never mind, never mind. I'm leaving. Brother, hold on, I'm coming. I can hardly tidy the place as fast as you can mess everything. Oh my gosh, what a mess. What did this naughty girl do? Oh, don't ask, Elvan. She's always running around and she can't sit still. Can you watch her a bit so I can tidy up the place? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, oh, God bless her, Hattice. Your daughter's so lovely. Were you being naughty then, huh? Were you? Were you being naughty? Will you be my little daughter? Do you want me to take you? Huh? Do you want me to take you? Elvan. Come with me. I need to talk to you. Come on. Okay, okay, baby. Hmm. Istanbul girl is not around, it seems. Ejder didn't come home either. I thought they had an argument. It wasn't an argument. They had a really bad fight. Then where have they both gone? Maybe they're not together. Maybe Edger stayed at the company. Why don't you call and check it out? No, I can't do that. Edger will know. Uh, anyway, go and do your business. We'll find out one way or the other. Oh, Elvan. Don't get so close to the maids. It will make for problems, and especially Hatice. Whenever I see you, you're there holding Lale. But doing the housework and also taking care of the kid is hard, so I just play with Lale. Don't play with her. Let Hatice do everything. But I'm just helping her. My dear, you're like the daughter-in-law of the house. If you let them use you now, then you are gonna make them listen to you later. Keep your distance a little. <laughs> Come on, you go now. Mm -hmm. 